and welcome back. So we are going to do part two of our 30 minutes total body workout. That's right, total body workout for the whole of the body, whether it be working your chest, your back, your arms, your balance, your core, your strength and your cardio. So we're going to start with 10 minutes warming up, then we've got a nice 10 minute workout session followed by a good 10 minute cool down including your flexibility elements as well. So before we get going, do make sure that you have rolled up any mats, you've got no trips or slips or hazards around you, that you've got a nice sturdy place to hold on to. That could be the back of a chair, it's going to be a nice really strong heavy chair. I always find that the kitchen sideboard is the safest place to work with. You will also need two tins, doesn't matter what they are, or you could use water bottles, anything you like, light dumbbells, that's all fine as well. And do exercise in comfortable clothes, um, ideally trainers if you've got them at home too. Make sure that you're well enough to join me today so that's no coughs, colds or fevers and you haven't got any problems with your joints that are causing you abnormal problems. So do stop during the exercise if you experience any pain or discomfort. Um, and when that goes away, you can come back and rejoin us again when you feel up to it. Okay, so without further ado, let's get exercising. So three, two, one, here we go. 10 minutes on the clock. So just relax the shoulders, body up nice and tall. What I'd like you to do is start with a heel pump. So I'm just pumping my heels up and down. And this is contracting my calf muscles. So it's allowing the blood to start traveling up from the feet and go around the system. Brilliant, now relax the shoulders down, pull your tummy muscles in if you can, and imagine that your tummy muscles is going in and up. Good, and then relax, good. Super stuff. Keep your chin up level there, good. Now keep those heels pumping. I'm gonna try and touch the shoulders. Elbows are close into the body, so it's a bit like a bicep curl. We're warming up through our joints. So the warm up is essential because it's going to be secreting synovial fluid through your joints. So it's a bit like WD-40. We're saying, hello, we're about to exercise. Let's get them ready. Good. Now this time what I'd like you to do is bring your arms all the way out to the sides and then back down again. Good, so to the side and lower. We're gonna do two more, side, and lower, one more, and side, and lower, super. Now keep those heels pumping for me, and we're gonna have a go at looking over your right shoulder. Good, take it back to the center, and over the left shoulder, and back to the center. Now those of you who've been with me before, you've got different levels. So level one, you're always holding on to the side. So you can be doing this, turning your body, holding on to the sideboard there. Good, I've got one hand on. Level two, if you feel ready, you can hover the hand above. And level three, you're just working with your own balance there. Super stuff. So we're gonna go back for a touch and down. And touch and down. Two more, touch and down. Touch and down. Good, now we're gonna lengthen the arm out in front of us. So we're gonna go for a raise and lower. Raise and lower, good. Raise and lower and raise and lower. Lovely wide stance and we're going to stop the feet just here. We're going to circle the hips all the way round. So you're going to do a big hula hoop circle, good. Loosening off with the lower part of the spine and then change it back round to the other way. Excellent, steady breath. It's really important to warm up before any exercises just so that your body is fully prepared and you prevent any injuries. Brilliant, well done. Now back in for a heel pump. I'm going to do an alternating touch. Here we go. So we're making the brain work as well. A bit of coordination going on here. If this is a bit too tricky and you're not feeling the love for this, don't worry. Just keep with the legs if that's easier. Good stuff. Keep going. Well done. Let's go for four and three and two. And one, now march it on the spot for me. Good, nice easy march out, that's the way. As you're marching, you should be at a level where you can have a good conversation. You're not quite at that exercise level, it's feeling nice and light. 
If this is a bit too tricky for you and you feel like you're beginning to exercise, take it back down to doing a hill pump. Good, because we're just warming up. Okay, fantastic. Now, as you're walking, what I'd like you to do is bring your elbows up nice and high. So they're at shoulder height. So imagine that you're touching the top of a table and your forearms are on the top as well. And you're going to scoop your forearms and the hands to the middle and then bring them back out again. Now we're going to start by doing small movements and nice and light. Good. And then we're going to open the mouth a bit bigger. This is called a dynamic stretch. And as I'm going through these movements, I'm now starting to bring my elbows back a little bit more. So I'm opening out through my chest muscles. Good, stretching out through my pectoral muscles there. Lovely, nice and steady. And relax the hands down. Good. Shoulder circle, the right shoulder up and down. Now the left, all the way up, round and back and down. Good, circle and down with the left up. And down. Now let's do that together. Two circles all the way up, round and back, and again, and release. Now take the circles together forward. Good. Forward and round. Super. Stop just here. Turn to face your sideboard if you need to. I'm going to bend the knees and go for a light tap. So nice, easy tap. So we're saying to the knees, right, come on, we're going to start warming up now. Let's get that synovial fluid secreted into these knee joints. Good, nice and steady. Now I'm going to turn to face you. Place your hands onto your hips. Bend and tap. Good, nice and easy. Bend and tap. Super. Good. Now we're going to add in some arms. So we're going to do our nice easy reach across, reach and pull. Lovely. Just keep it nice and steady. Don't need to be going fast with this. We're just warming up the body. It takes a whole 10 minutes for those coronary arteries to vasodilate in your heart. So do it nice and easy. Good. And back in for a walk on the spot. Brilliant. Okay. Relax the shoulders again. Pull your tummy muscles in if you can. And up. Slightly tuck under the bottom. Superb. Looking good, folks. Now have a big circle with your right arm. Reach it all the way up round and back. Let's try that again, all the way up, round and back. Now if that's feeling a bit tricky, do remember you need to hold on, other side, all the way up, round and back. Good. Up, round and back. Now both arms together, ready? Reach up, all the way round and back. Good. So you're also stretching out through the chest as well. Now let's take it back on the other way. So with your right arm back, and forward. Good. And again, reach up, round and forward. Take the other hand, up, round and forward. And again, and double arms this time. Ready? Reach up, round and forward. Good. One more time. Reach up, round and forward. Now just to set our posture in the right position, we're going to roll the shoulders up, round and back. Good. And we're ready. Super stuff. So we're going to go back for our wide stance, tapping, knee bend and tap. Good. Tummy in. That's it. Nice and steady. Now we're going to go for our reaches again. For eight, seven, six, four, three, two and one. Well done. March it up. Turn to your side and hold on to the side if you need to. We're going to go for a lunge back. So it's just a tap back to start with. Tapping back. Good. We're going to go for eight and seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And hold this foot down. Put it down and then raise up the heel. Down and raise up the heels. So this is a dynamic half stretch what you're doing here. So nice and steady down and raise things up. Good. That will help elongate all those muscle fibers ready for our exercise today. Good, one more. And back in, here we go again. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now take the other leg behind. So this is your 
your left leg, push your heel down and then raise it back up, down and up and just take it down to as far as what feels comfortable for you. If you can't reach your heel to the floor, all you need to do is bring your feet in a little bit closer together. You may have overstretched it there. Good. Let's go for one more and bring it back in. Nice easy walk on the spot. So we're going to walk it out. Now if you need to take it up a bit of a pace to start warming up a bit more, we're going to bring those knees a little bit higher. Good. So stick to the level which suits you. It might be down here, just taking your feet off about an inch off the floor. And others might be to bring the knees up a little bit higher. You're in control of your own exercise today. I'm just guiding you through. Super. Well done. Okay, nice wide stance again. This time you're going to stretch and reach and pull in. So you'll reach, reach, reach. We've got a side stretch coming across the body. And what this is helping is adding in a bit of a spine twist as well. Good. So you're reaching and in. Pull that rope and in. Good. Pull that rope and in. Lovely. When you come back, reset your posture. Bring your shoulder blades together. Keep them low in the back. So you're up nice and tall. Well done. Are we ready for exercise? Okay, so we're going to start with a press up. You're going to come to the sideboard level one. Bending your knees, flat back, coming forward from the waist. Pressing towards the bench and back up again. Keeping your spine nice and straight. Good. Level two, what you're going to do here is you're going to come back. Keep your heels to the floor, or like lift them just a little bit, and keep your body straight as a plank. Level three, you're going to come up onto your toes. Straight plank. Woo! And for a press up. And the speed will depend on how you're feeling. I would like you to do every four press ups, do a bit of a heel pump, just to get the blood coming back up to the level of the heart. So we're going for four, and up, three, and up, good. Two, and one, four heel pumps. Four, three, two, one. Well done, knee raise. So level one, holding on, we're gonna do four on each side. Three, oh, and three, and one. Oh my goodness, I've lost my counting. Four, three, two, and one. Other side, so level two, four, three, Two, and one, other side, and four, three, two, one, level three, you're going to pull down with both hands, ready, four, three, two, and one, other side, four, three, two, and one, keep going, core in nice and strong, standing tall, that's it, steady breath. Make sure you're breathing all the way through. We're going to go back to the side, to the bench, coming up. And change, here we go. Four, three, two, and one. Plank position, level one. You're going to pivot forward from the waist and just hold that position here. Holding the core in, pulling up through your pelvic floor muscles. Good. After four seconds, you're going to go back in for a heel pump. Level two, straight body, heels down to the floor and you're gonna hold it here. After four seconds, in for a heel pump. Level three, you're gonna hold it here up onto your toes, raise your right leg behind you and hold it for four. Once you've done four seconds, you're going to swap it onto the other leg. Good, so ready and lift. Two, three, four, and lower, other side. Lift, two, three, four, and lower. This is working your core muscles, round your tummy and your back and your glutes. Good stuff. Right, so we're gonna go for a bend and tap. Level one, facing your side forward. Bend and tap, bend and tap. Good, lovely. Level two, to me. Bend and tap, bend and tap. Level three, punch to the ceiling. Punch, pull down, punch, pull down. Now we're into cardio. Here we go. Punch, pull down. Good. 
You can use your fingertips if you want to stretch through instead, that's absolutely fine. Or you can punch it with a fist. Just make sure you bring those hands back down to your chest and you feel like you're really pulling as you're coming back down. So you're getting your pectoral muscles working as well. Good, steady breath. Level three, this is level two, and this is level one. Stick to your level, good. You will find over a period of time, you will be increasing in your endurance. Level one, squatting. Small knee bend, up, then it's a calf raise, and lower. Level two, small knee bend, and then a bit deeper. Then as you come up, See if you can just rest your fingers lightly rather than holding on and really gripping. Level three, I'm gonna to turn to face you. Wide squat, wide squat, calf raise and reach. Wide squat and reach. Good, so I'm still doing my calf raise, but I'm using my hands to power up to the ceiling. Good, well done. And I'm using my balance mechanisms in my body. So this is level three, level two. You're lightly holding onto the side with a deeper squat. Good. Remember, level one is just a small knee bend. Knee bend and raise. Good, hamstring curl. Level one, holding onto the side. Curling up. Now we're working on the hamstrings, the back of the leg. Steady breath, relax the shoulders. That's it, chin parallel. Level two, a little bit more effort going in. And we can add in a single arm as well. Good, level three, it's doubling a bit more. You're back in your cardiovascular section again. That's it, good. Now as you're bringing those arms in, activate your muscles. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. These are great upper body postural muscles. Let's get them working. Yes, feel the energy at home. Feel the energy coming through the camera towards you. Let's get you nice and strong and fit. We can do this together, guys. Well done, walk it out, nice and easy. Bent over row, this is where you need your hands. Okay, level one, pivot forward from the waist, flat back. And you're going to go for a squeeze between the shoulder blade and bring the hand down. Four repetitions here. Level two, you're going to be coming away from the bench and you're going to be going for four repetitions with each side, three and four, and then changing it to the other side. Good, flat back. Level three, what you're gonna do here is a double rep. So you're gonna come up and lower up and lower. Once you get to four repetitions, four and down, you're gonna pulse for four. One, two, three, four, and lower. And four, three, two, one, ready for pulsing? Four, three, two, one, and lower. Well done, put your weights down. Good, and walk it out. Level one, holding onto the side, easy march. Level two, in the middle, in for a good strong march. Level three, are we ready yet? Level three, I know you are at home, we can do this. It's in for a jog. How many seconds have we got on the clock? Oh, look, easy guys, 36 seconds. We can do this, just jogging out. Now, if you want to go up a level, but you might be at level two, but not quite at level three, why not try walking for four and jogging for four? then walking for four, and jogging for four. Give it, so you've got a good happy medium going on there. Lovely, if you're at level one, you might try a low walk, and then high knees for four. Good, low for four, and high knees. Super, well done. Okay, level one, it's an ankle touch. We're gonna come for a wide stance, and you're just gonna bend your knees, so you're coming to a bit of a side lunge, you need your toes to be turning out to 45 degree angle. Good, bring your knees slightly towards your toes and a little bit over. This is all I want you to do for level one. Level two, you're going to come down and you're gonna to touch the opposite knee. Good, level three, you're gonna take it deeper 
and touch your ankle. Are you ready? Here we go. Touch and touch. Touch and touch. Good, now as you're coming down, really have a wide stance. If your feet are quite narrow, you're going to be in difficulty with your balance and you won't be really getting that good stretch and strength formulating on your inner thighs. Wider the better, ready? Wide. Good. Walk it out. Super. Level one, turning to the side. Clasp your fist. Elbows come out and lower. So the elbows up to shoulder height and it's bent at a right angle. Four repetitions. Then you're going to change it onto the other side. Level two, you're going to do the same but add the weight in. So four repetitions. We've got two more. And one and change. Level three, together. Good. Up to shoulder height and in. Lovely. Now this is quite funny. If you imagine that you've got two whoopee cushions under each... <laughs> Um, elbow and you're trying to squeeze them as you're bringing your elbows in that will make your upper body work a little bit harder as well so you'll be doing a bit more of the work up for your arms well done okay put the weights down we're into our cool down now yes you have made it through your 10 minute workout and you've already done your fantastic 10 minute warm up there so let's cool it down start to slow the pace Hold on to the side if you need to. Slow it down. Good, nice, easy, slowing it down. Walk it out. Good, let the body come down gradually. So that's going to really help with your heart. It's going to prevent any arrhythmias or palpitations by cooling down nice and steady. Relax the shoulders down. Here, bring your chin level back up. Wide stance like we did in the beginning. Knee bend and tap. Bend and tap. Now we're not going to add any arms in, we're just going to keep with the legs at the moment. Steady breath, just slowing your individual pace down. Good. Nice and easy. That's the way. And walk it out. Super. Now turn to the side, hold on to the side if you need to. And it's a tap and in. Good. Tap and in. If you don't need to hold on to the side, maybe place your hands on your hips. Or you can just do a nice, low, easy arm. Good. And we're going to take a big stride back with the right leg. Push your back heel flat into the floor and bend your front knee. Good. Keep both your feet facing forward if you can. Eyes level forward, chin up. Feel a stretch down in your calf muscle. Nice, steady breath. If you can't really feel that stretch, Take the leg back a little bit further and really try and push the heel into the floor. If that heel's being raised, you won't really feel that stretch. You also need to bend that front knee. Good, now bring that leg in slightly, lift the back heel and tilt the pelvis forward for a hip flexor stretch. Good, steady breath. In through the nose, out through pursed lips. Well done guys, you're doing really well. Okay, let's bring that back leg up behind you so you're holding onto your trousers or onto the ankle. Soft supporting knee so you can feel a stretch onto the front of the thigh. Hold onto the side if you need to or if you're feeling brave, stretch forward. Good. Now I'm going to take a step back so I've got a bit more room. If you're feeling super brave, we're going to work a little bit more on that balance and stretching. We're going to reach, 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 reach. Soft supporting knee. You're going to lift the leg up behind you, opening out through the hip, and then slowly come back in. Well done. Really easy heel pop. Lovely. Loosen up. Shake it up. That's it. Shake it up. Good. Take it higher. Just a shoulder height. Bring it back down. Good. And again, holding on to the side if you need to. Take it back for a step back. And in. Nice and easy. Let's go for eight. And seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. And two. You're nearly there. 
and one, bring that leg in, take the left leg behind and push the back heel flat into the floor. Bend your front knee, good, feel that stretch into your calf muscle, which if you've been with me since day one, you will now know this is known as your second heart. So let's keep our second heart really flexible and strong. Good, steady breath. Well done, relax the shoulders. Just feel about enjoying these stretches. The more you start to enjoy your stretches, the more benefits your whole body will receive. Good, now slightly bring that leg in, lift the back heel off the floor and tilt the pelvis forward. Good, you're feeling a hip flexor stretch just on the top here on your left hip. Brilliant. Now I'm gonna to turn to face the other way so you can see me a bit better. Stay here if you wish. If you want to come up, hold onto your trousers or onto the ankle, soft supporting knee. If you can, lightly bring those knees together. This is a quadriceps stretch here, holding onto the side. If you're feeling brave, reach in front of you. You can always hold on if you need to. Good, now with your supporting leg, root your big toe your little toe and your heel into the floor. These are known as your tree roots. If you want to try with me, have a go and extending out, you can just keep holding on to the sideboard or you can reach in front, good. Look at an object in front of you and just focus on that object and then slowly bring it back in. Well done, fantastic, easy heel pump. Nice and steady, good. Now in for an upper back stretch, so we're going to hug a big beach ball, wrapping our arms round and tucking the head down. If your balance starts to go, hold on to the side and just roll the shoulders forward and bring your chin to your chest. Good, it's all about opening out through the back. Super stuff. Lovely and relax the feet. Now, what you're going to do is turn your palms and reach up to the ceiling. Good, reach, reach, reach. And then you're going to slightly come to the side and feel that stretch reaching all the way down to the side of the body. Now, if you need to hold on, please do put your left hand onto the side and just reach over with the right arm above the body. Can you see how I've got my palm facing up to the ceiling? Good, now we're going to change onto the other way, reach onto the side there if you need to, palm up to the ceiling and lift up and reach away. Well done, enjoy this lovely side stretch. Steady breath, good, and bring the hands back in. Let's go for a chest stretch now, so I'm going to turn, you can hold on to the back of your sideboard and squeeze the elbows in and the shoulder blades in together if you can. Well done. If it's easier and you've got a little bit better balance, just come forward and just push your hands away, reach up and away. Good. Steady breath. Wiggle your toes in your shoes. That's it, keep the blood flowing there. And bring the hands back in, well done. Okay, so stop the feet, soft supporting knee, reach your arm right across the body and gently pull that arm towards you. Shoulders nice and low. Into a deltoid stretch here. Try and place your hands below or above your elbow joint, just to protect it from any pressure. Good, now take that hand forward, place that hand to the shoulder and with your supporting hand gently reach the elbow up to the ceiling and let your fingertips start to travel down the back. Now remember, if you need to use the tea towel trick we've done before, please do that. Good, slowly bring the elbow down, good, and on to the other side. Take the other arm across the body, Gently pull that arm towards you, relax the shoulders, try and get square onto me if you can, square shoulders, steady breath. Yeah, doing well folks. Okay, now take that hand forward, place the palm to the shoulder, and then gently bring the elbow up to the ceiling, 
Let your fingertips travel down the back. You might only be able to go to here and that's fine. The more you practice, you'll slowly, slowly, slowly get a little bit more each time. So do bear with me. Good, and bring that hand down, well done. Three shoulder rolls up, round and back. And again, up, round and back. One more time, up, round and back. Good, now soft knees and you're gonna turn over and look behind your shoulder, good. Back to the center, so turn, look behind the shoulder and center. See how far you can look behind you. Steady breathing and in. Now your hips will move. When people say keep your hips facing forward, yes, that is a good idea to do that if you can, but sometimes our body has osteoarthritis and we need to work with it, so do let your body come round with you if it needs to. It's all about working with it not against it. Great, and relax your hands down. Now we're going to reach down to the side, lift up the elbow, good, and back to the centre. We're having a really good stretch today, preparing us for the rest of the day. Super stuff, wide starts. Okay, here we go, soft knees, just in time. So we're going to do a breath in through the nose, and breath up. In through the nose, breath out through pursed lips. Last one. In through the nose, and breath out through pursed lips. Shake it out. Woo! Yes! Well done, everybody. You did a fantastic job. Yay! I'm so proud of you guys. Keep it going. This is just wonderful what you're doing to your bodies there. Do let me know how you're finding it in the comments below. Please do hit the subscribe and the bell button because uh, then you'll be uploaded to the next video that we do. And do hit the like button if you liked it today and share it with your friends. That helps me to make more videos for you. So we will be doing a 10 minute Tuesday booster as well. So we're live every Thursday and that's in London time at 10 o'clock and then you'll have your 10 minute booster on a Tuesday morning which will be released at 10 o'clock as well. But before we go, I'd just like to do some shout outs of who we've got here today. So let's have a look who we've got, let's see, on this very fine day. We have got Moira, good morning. Sue, good morning. And we have got Leslie, good morning. And we have got here, Jackie, good morning then, Huckleberries TV, good morning, and we've got Cheryl, good morning, and Wendy, good morning, and um, Norma, good morning from Suffolk there, nice to see you Norma, and we have got here Jenny, good morning from Oxford, and Christine, good morning, and we have got, at the top, Ray and Anne, good morning guys. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Do hit the subscribe button, do hit the like button if you liked it and I shall see you next week. Have a fantastic week and bye for now. Ciao, ciao, bye bye.